Hmm, good day, Tragic here. Welcome back to Arkham Horror. Let's get straight into this. Whoa, it's time to start. I'm so excited. Let's do it! First thing we need to do though is just finalize the setup. Let's quickly check that I've got the Doom. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. Okay. So, first thing we need to do to finalize is just put out the opening clues and that'll kick the game off. So, the way the clues work is first I'm just going to cut this so it's sort of randomized. Okay. We draw three of these cards. One, two, three. And these three cards correspond, they got the exact same backs as the deck locations. So we have Merchant District, Northside, and Doomtown. So we get a clue, get a clue, get a clue. Now these are all Flash, I'm not reading them, but Flash. These are all scenario specific special cards that are only in this scenario. And what you do once you do this, you grab them, you pick up the top two from the local deck, and then just shuffle them in. It's very hard to shuffle three cards, so I may switch to die rolling to determine which one. I've got a three-sided die. Because shuffling three, side, three cards is just uh, less than random. And what's this one do? Downtown, there we go. And that way, so the first three cards we do in this location is gonna have something involving the clue to the specific monster we're fighting. That's actually a cool idea. A little cumbersome with the shuffling, but who cares? Now we do the spreading of the doom. And to do that, you draw from the bottom of the deck so we don't know what's coming. We get a north side card and you flip it over and one or more of these will have a little doom icon next to it. The train station, for example. And we just put a doom token like so. This is discarded, but we've got to keep this around because the train station is the unstable location for this round and it's used in a whole bunch of triggers. And I'm pretty sure we can do this in any order, but there is a first player marker. We're going to give that to Drake, because he's my fave. And this is just a little token to help realize that uh, you've had their turns. Okay, let's get into this. We're going to start with Tommy. And he's going to move one, two, three into here. Now, you can only move twice, but he does have the motorcycle which says instead of your normal move action, move up to three spaces and you may spend one dollar to move an additional space. So, bam, and he's spending a dollar. Now, this version of the game has engagements. So this monster actually comes and engages him physically. And he is a river shuck, or whatever. A river skulk. Okay, so the, the combat is really, really different in this. Basically, we just attack straight up, we've got to do three damage, and that's it. Nothing else seems to matter. All the other commands occur during the monster phase when he attacks. So we don't have to worry about horror, we don't have to worry about his attack back, we just simply attack. If we kill him, we kill him. If not, he stays engaged with us and attacks us next turn. Let's put him down here engaged. So he has a combat action of three dice, plus he's got the shotgun, which gives him plus four dice for a total of seven dice. Why does this weapon have a health and a sanity on it? Okay, so basically this is a weapon, but it actually acts as an ally, like in the Arkham card game. So he can, I can transfer damage to my weapon if I want, because uh, he's got a special relationship with that Becky shotgun. Anyway, so that's a total of seven dice. And if we look at the monster, it is strength minus zero, so we have no modifiers. But we need three successes to kill. So, the first roll. The first roll! Oh, come on! Blammo! One, two, three hits. And this guy is dead. Now, what happens to the monsters once you kill them? Guess I form a discard pile? Actually, no, you place it on top of the deck, and it also has a remnant icon. So this goes on top of the deck, so I guess I... You draw from the bottom of the deck so you don't know what monster's coming next. I just uh, screwed that up, so let's uh, <laughs> cut that <laughs> so I don't know what's coming. And I also gain a remnant icon, whatever the hell that is. I should probably look that up. Nice. And what's his ability again? Shield. Okay, so that's his move. Excellent. Now it's the great Drake's turn, and he's going to use his astral travel. So he can use his lore to travel instead of whatever. So he currently has four lore, so he gets two plus whatever successes he rolls. Okay, he gets plus one, that's three, that is perfect. 
you know, it was only three spaces. One, two, three. Which means I didn't need to spend that extra dollar to get that extra movement point from the bike. Okay, now that Drake is in this location, he's gonna do what they call a something test. <laughs> it's called a war test, where we test our law, and we can remove doom equal to the amount in the space. So we know he's got four, so we're looking for one success. And we get no successes at all. But remember, he's got this ability, magical gifts, once per round while making a law test, you may re-roll one or all of your dice. So let's try that again, shall we? Sounds like he's gonna be a great warder. Blammo, this time you get three successes, and that clears this ward. Uh, what happens to the ward? Okay, so what happens if you, if you take out more than one ward, one uh, doom token at once, you uh, gain something. Even though you got three successes, we only took away one token, so nothing happens. Be gone! Oop, wrong, wrong, wrong pile. Where, where is this pile? Oh, they're the same as the clues. Be gone! And that be your turn, yo. Yoink! I think I'm going to send this chick into the other direction. Oh, wait, why doesn't she just stay here? Yeah, I think I'm just going to stay. I think we're going to just keep little Miss uh, Clever Clogs in the same location. So she is actually going to do... What other, other, what other things have we got? We've got research to place clues equal to a test result on a scenario sheet. Trade, exchange any number of possessions in order, okay? How do I buy things? Move, gather, focus, ward, attack, evade, research, trade. Okay, so that's interesting. It looks like you cannot buy from the display unless you're instructed to. There is actually no buy function and I guess there's no general store or anything like that. Locations actually have no abilities. They've just got these icons. Right, so her action is going to be focus. That allows her to place a focus token of a choice. She has a focus of two. She's gonna have two at any one time. Now she has got synergy, which means that uh, her focus is actually three and other investigators are all plus one if they share a space. So everyone in her space is now plus one observation. And then she's gonna do research. Test your observation to place clues equal to your test result on the scenario sheet, whatever that means. So her observation is four. So, we get blammo and we get one, two successes. We got two successes, so we get to place two clues. Is that right? Or do I have to actually have it? I must have to have a clue before I do that. That's ridiculous, okay? Let me check out that. <laughs> That's that thing. Yeah, so this is a great example of these annoying new rule books. Okay, this one here, the learn to play guide, no mention of having to own the clue. This one says you gotta own the clue. So that action can't be done, which means I may as well just do a walk, I think. So she's gonna move two spaces like so. One, two. And we're gonna do a similar thing for her. She's gonna do a focus. She's gonna focus law. And then she is also gonna move up to here. And that, my friends, is the end of the player turn. So I'm just gonna go and edit this now because I'm, I'm very new to this game. I don't know if I'm doing anything correctly. So going through the edit each phase will Cut down on errors. Back in a sec. You won't even notice. God, why am I even telling you, man? Power of editing, dude. Right. So now it is the monster phase. Well, we dealt with uh, one of the monsters the old fashioned way, as in shotgun blast to the face. So now we've got just this one guy, this hybrid thug, who you will all recognize, as we've seen this in pretty much every single game. Okay, so this guy's ability is patrol. So it moves towards the most doom and engages the lowest observation. He's already in a location with doom, so I guess he doesn't move and there's no people in there, so nothing happens. That's the end of that phase. And now we're in the encounter phase, which means we draw the location cards. So if you're engaged in a monster, which no one is, you don't get to draw a card, but luckily no one is, so we're just gonna go, we'll start with you. And this is a river town. You wouldn't want to be colorblind because this, this, and this are all different colored decks. Yoink. 
What you got for us? We are in the general store. You swap some boasts and tall tales with Mr. Hartel and other old geezers playing checkers by the pot-bellied stove. Eventually, Davy comes over and asks if you're planning to buy anything or if you'd all kindly be quiet and leave. You may buy any number of common items from the display. Okay, so I guess that explains how this place works. The, I would bet that almost every single general store of event will allow us to buy common items. Now, she has three buckaroonies. There's only two we can buy. This, they're all six. They're all really good cards. Six, six, six. This one is what we're going to buy, though. Yoink! Secret page. You gain plus two lore as part of a ward action. That's nice. And we get to have to spend this, don't we? Yoink. Three dollars. And I suppose I draw the next card, right? I would, yeah. And yes, we draw the next common item. Be cheap. Yeah, that one's one dollar. Excellent. Okay, I'm not sure what I'd do with this. I'm just going to stick these at the bottom. And let's grab the next one. Yoink. You bang on the door again. Hold your horses, shouts the owner, Davy, from inside. You know what time it is? Just let me get my drawers on. After a moment, the door opens and you rush inside. You may buy any number of common items. Okay, so pretty boring. She also has three dollars. Yonkity yoink, the yonkity yoink. And we actually have three dollars worth of items. We've got a rabbit's foot and painkillers. We're gonna take both of them. Rabbit's foot is just the same as it has always been. Reroll one dice on any test. And Ignore Pain is a little bit different from Arkham Horror because it uses a two health. So you can basically place two health on this before it's gone. So it's got two charges instead of the tap effect. Right, so now we're doing the downtown location. This has a clue. So one of the top three cards is a special themed thing that will give us this clue. So downtown, that's uh, one, two... So hopefully we'll get a clue here. We are in the Merchant District, yoink! And we're in the River Docks. You sit on a bench in the fog, listening to the whispered conversation of the unseen Innsmouth sailors while you wait for your buyer to arrive. You gain one clue from your neighborhood. Eventually the buyer shows. You may spend one remnant to gain $3. Well, what a shame I chose this guy to go first, even though I didn't tell you, because he doesn't have a remnant, but this guy standing on the same location does have a remnant. So that was a bit of a hassle. And I believe the gray is actually from the, from the, you know, the, the quest. So that's actually the quest card. Not sure what I'd do with this. I'm just going to put this one out here, I suppose. I better look that up. Let's draw the next one though. You need work, shouts the foreman. I'll pay good money for strong backs. You gain one dollar for each success you roll. At the end of the day, one crate is unaccounted for on the manifest. You and the other workers quietly divvy up the contents among yourselves, gain one common item. She's trying to determine how much she can knock off the table without incurring my wrath. That's right, I'm looking at you. Rightio, so his strength is three dice. And that's a miss. Okay, so we don't get any extra dollars, but we do gain one common item anyway. So we failed the dollar test, but we still stole the item. Yoink. And we get a mystic tome, which is kind of useless for him. Four dollar item though, nice. We will trade that to the magic user. Okay, so this is confusing. It says in the rules that you place the encounters at the bottom of the deck, unless it's an event card. So I guess it doesn't actually say where to place the event card, so I'm going to place it in the event discard, which would change the current unstable location. And now we have the miss-off phase where we just draw two tokens. I'm going to... I'm not looking. Draw two tokens and then every investigator resolves. And I'm still not looking. We get one and two. All right, so what do these do? Spawn monster. We're getting dangerously close to my uh, dice there, little one. Draw the bottom card of the monster deck and place it on the board as instructed. Shallows Predator. 
Spawn at street nearest prey. What the hell does that mean? Okay, I don't really know what that means because every single street is next to a whole bunch of things. So that's a street next to two people. Oh, that, that's a street next to him. So where the hell does it go? I will look this up, but I think I get to choose. So I'm just gonna place it in that street there. And the second icon is clue. What do I, I don't spawn one. It said, hang on. Draw two tokens from the Mythos Cup and resolve their effects one at a time. All investigators do this. So I spawn four monsters. Is that right? I think so. So I guess the prey is actually whoever's the investigator is that has drawn it. Okay, so let's do the magic guy. Wake Titan, spawn at unstable space. The unstable space is still the unvisited isle. It didn't change even though that's a new card. So he spawned, this sounds crazy. I'm gonna look this up. There's four monsters a turn. That's massive. Ah, okay. I figured out what's going on. Each investigator draws separately. So let's uh, put this back on the bottom. You draw, each investigator draws. So the other one he drew was a clue. Take the top card of the event deck and, okay, that's just spawn a clue. So we take the top card of the event deck. It is uh, Mesmotonic University. And like before, we take the top three and just uh, give that a little annoying shuffle. Should be like top five or something, I don't know, whatever. Top three. And we place a clue. Yeah, boink. Also, I forgot, uh, we actually won that clue, didn't we? Okay, next. Not looking. Two clues. This is Mandrake. So that's one more clue. Mr. Matonic University. It's another clue. Mr. Matonic University. Wow. Well, now I wish I did stay in that space. <laughs> okay, so the top three. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Oh, it's the top two. Oh well. Top two? No, it's the top. Yeah, it's the top two and the t and this one. Whatever. Next guy. This is uh, the Korean girl. Oh, doom. And a monster. Okay, so we know what the monster is. That's getting placed in the unvisited aisle. And we have a comet resolve all reckoning effects. She's creeping closer, creeping closer, closer to the edge of the table where my hands are. I think there's only one reckoning effect in play at the moment. Each investigator suffers horror equal to the amount of doom in their space. There is no doom in any spaces with investigators. So that's fine. And finally, we have the psychic. It's a clue and a blank. Doomtown, uh, downtown. I don't know why I keep saying uh, downtown. Now I did, did I accidentally put one there by accident? I'll have to check that out. Basically, you might miss it because of the editing, but uh, when I did the first Mr. Matonic, I actually drew a downtown card. I thought it was a downtown card for some reason. Okay, so we get the top two. Bam. Okay, so I checked the editing and that, that clue was actually placed at the beginning of the game during the opening setup. So that was meant to be there. Okay, and that is it. That is turn one of Arkham Horror and I will see you guys next time.